hello welcome back to my channel i am going to film a really quick intro and i just want to say before we get into this video and i'm not bragging by any means because i have no right to brag and i have went through a lot with my skin but you guys there is not anything on my skin right now i mean i have my scars a little on my jawline but that's all i gotta say and today we are going to be doing a skincare routine in which i'm very excited about um i have went through a lot with this skin honey so i'm just really excited to be sharing excuse the mess in the back it is what it is but i just really want to film this intro and outro so that i can edit um but yes i went through a lot with my skin i do a lot to maintain nice skin and i am just very thrilled to be filming this today um there was one thing that i missed out on and i didn't mention it during my morning routine which is this oil let me go grab it it is this um blueberry booster oil and it's just like vitamin a i think and it's supposed to help with um you know if you're on a computer screen all day or you're on your phone all day but it also helps restore the skin so i use this it looks like this my friend isabel gave it to me shout out to her she's so cute and so amazing i use it on days i'm not wearing makeup because if i wear it underneath my makeup i'm just too oily for that so i'll wear it on days that i don't wear my makeup i'll either mix it with my foundation or i will um i'm sorry my moisturizer or I will, um, if I'm just chilling at home and I don't care to be like super oily, I'll just like pat this into my skin after my moisturizer just as like a finishing touch. So yeah, I think that I've just learned a lot through trial and error as well as you need more moisture in your skin to heal acne, to heal so much, so much. So I, I did a lot of wrong things throughout my skincare journey, so... I'm very excited to get into this video thank you so much for watching please subscribe join the fun we're going to be making a lot more videos over here and yeah i will just let's just get right into this video okay i'm so sorry if you can hear I'm doing laundry in there so i'm just gonna walk you through i'm gonna do my nighttime routine tonight my morning routine in the morning and then you know like i use like a bha aj and also like a retinoid i um use this cleansing balm in the shower so i just brought it down so i could talk about it i don't wear makeup um every day i'm wearing a mask like all day so there's no point in putting on makeup but this is really great too if you wear a full face of makeup first of all the inky list period the ordinary period it's like a oh my god it's focused anyway it's not oh it's focused oh period it's like those bombs that you get like in a jar and you scoop it out and it's really good to like remove makeup it's in a tube yo and let me just tell you this is like 10 bucks so i use that on a daily basis just for like my eyes and my eyebrows and honestly just to like double cleanse to get any dirt off at first and then i go in with this so this is my every night routine and then i integrate a few products in throughout the week tomorrow i'm gonna look like a zombie but it's okay i'm gonna still film it maybe not talk i might do a voiceover but this is what i use every night as my face wash so i double cleanse even if i don't wear makeup so i go in with the inky list oak cleansing balm and then i use the inky list fulvic acid brightening cleanser it says it helps brighten skin and gently remove makeup it's a very gentle cleanser okay you guys i just have to say this before we get into the rest my mistake that i have made for years and i finally just figured it out it's okay through trial and error um i have what you can't tell right now because by the grace of god my skin looks really good by god's grace i like to thank jesus every day when i wake up but um i have very acne prone skin so i do have like scarring and when i do break out you guys it's not just a little it's like huge whiteheads and they hurt i've always used like acne cleanser acne 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 everything so i think i was just drying my skin out which was causing me to break out and i'm very oily so that means I 
have a lot of which when you're super oily it's honestly the opposite so I'm lacking moisture that's why my skin is producing excess oil it doesn't make sense but I have truly figured it out so I have stopped using acne cleansers acne moisturizers the only thing I use is like an acne treatment on like a spot so as like a spot treatment I used to use like acne toners and this has truly changed my skin and also what I've realized less is more my skincare routine used to be now it's like three products and I have truly known a noticed a difference and then I do like I said my retinoid retinol um, AHA BHA and then moisturizing masks here and there and that's it I used to do too much okay so that is what I have to share right now and it has truly made such a difference in my skin it's just very gentle and what I like about thinky list as well it's just clean cut products clean cut ingredients we're not getting fragrance and that's fine that's what I need and I use like I like to wash my face with like cold to warm water because I'm usually hot or just like I don't know that's just what I like I really like to focus down here because this is where I usually break out so I'll just sit here and like my thumbs are here like this <laughs> and then I pat dry pat, 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 and I get really red okay and so next I use the this is every night period um the ordinary hyaluronic acid I like to damp my face because that's my oh we're gonna get into that too so I get facials once a month at this place in new york city called glow bar and i used to go to a place called skin laundry but it's just very pricey and it's like laser facials and i loved it so much but it was just too expensive but it was very effective um but i've been going to this place called glow bar and so i just took like i honestly use a lot of this which i probably honestly use too much but it's for moisturizing so it's fine um but I probably put like a quarter size amount. I know that's probably too much. And my face was damp. And then I just press it into my skin. And my skin literally sucks this up. So that's how I know my skin lacks moisture. Because the second I put this on my skin, it's like... <sighs> so back to the facials while this sits. Um, I was getting facials at Skin Laundry once a month. It's $100 a month for one facial. And it's a laser facial. Penetrates deep in the skin. So if you have acne and super acne prone skin, love that place. It was just like I couldn't afford it every month, $100. And then you can do $200 a month, two facials. But anyways, I found this place in New York City. So if you're in New York, it's great. Oh, tell them I recommended you. I'm not going to touch my hair, but I would tuck it behind my ear. And um, it's called Glow Bar. I really like them. It's only $55 a month for one facial. And then if you want to get another one, you just pay $55. It's a little bit more of a relaxing spa experience. Whereas Skin Laundry is just zap, 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 and you're out. But it's very effective. But I do like that Glow Bar gives you a little bit more of like a spa experience. It's not a full-on spa. It's like a 30-minute appointment but they really focus on what you need in that moment so maybe you're not breaking out so they don't need to do all that so they just do a lot of hydrating stuff um they don't do laser but they have an led light and then they also do this other little like zappy thing um that i think helps with acne and scarring and stuff but i've noticed a huge difference going to there with my scarring and just my overall skin so i do that once a month and then this is what i do on top of that so i'm really investing in my skin um so yes my skin is so tight right now you can probably tell then i go in with a moisturizer and i have been using this because i traveled with it it's just the cetaphil um basic moisturizing lotion dry to normal skin but i normally use the set of or i'm sorry the cerave one they're both really good but I ran out of the CeraVe and then I was traveling so I just bought this. So I kind of use a lot because my skin is so tight. I think another mistake I made because I was so oily but I really stayed away from oils. But now that I've started using oils in my skincare routine, 
my skin is so much better like i don't break out as much and that's why i stopped using oils because i was like no it's gonna make me break out even more but actually it's the opposite i can't so then this has been great for my skin so i have two oils that i'll use and the first one that i use every single night it, it the only time i don't use it which I'll explain is if I do a retinoid or an AHA BHA, which I probably could use it, but when I do a retinoid or an AHA BHA, I just moisturize after. No hyaluronic acid, nothing. Because when you do too much with those, which that's what I also discovered through trial and error, is that I was using other products on top of that and then I was using them too much. I'm sorry if this is jumping all over the place. I double cleanse, hyaluronic acid, moisturizer, and then I seal it with this. It is Look Organics, which they sent me this, and I have been loving it, and I know my skin is loving it. It is called Renew, and it improves skin tone texture and pigmentation, and the only ingredients are rosehip seed oil, alma seed oil, lavender oil, lemon peel oil, and astaxanthin, I don't know what that is, which I use it all over my face because it's like an oil, and I've just noticed it really helped my skin. So I'm just sticking beside her. I'm gonna stick beside them. What I usually do, and this is just kind of how I lock in my whole skincare routine. I do about six drops and then I just rub it into my hands and then press into the skin. And I believe that this has helped with my acne. I believe it's helped with my hyperpigmentation. I believe that it's helped with my redness and also moisturizing my skin and make sure you bring all your products down to your neck sometimes i even lift up my shirt and put some on my chest because that's also where you age as well and finish with the laneige sleeping mask i put this on all hours of the day i'm obsessed with it on my lips for eye cream honestly eye creams to me i'm like whatever um, I just want to use something moisturizing to help my like wrinkles and stuff. So I've been using this e.l.f. Holy Hydration Eye Cream with Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Complex. And so it's just very moisturizing. And yeah, that's it. So I'm going to finish making my pasta and then I'm going to come back and talk about my other treatments that I do at night. My pasta and I'm back so we are going to wrap this up because I know it's going to be a little bit of a lengthy video But I really just wanted to be able to explain the changes that I've made and how they've helped me And so now I'm just going to talk about three treatments that I use throughout the week So first I want to talk about um, This Paula's Choice BHA liquid exfoliant. It's a salicylic acid treatment Unclogs pores, shrinks and locks pore, enlarged pores, smooths an even skin tone, lightweight. So this honestly says you can use it once or twice daily. And I would not recommend doing that from the jump. You can like work your way up to that. But I haven't got there yet and I don't think I ever will because I'm, like I said, I'm using these other products and it's just too much. So I'll maybe use this like once or twice a week depending on if i use the other two treatments so i'll use that so say like i'll use like i just use this sunday so i'm not going to use any other type of treatments until tomorrow's friday so i like to give that like five day gap before i use anything else so i use this on sunday and i'll probably use a retinoid which i have been using retinol sorry it helps reduce the signs of aging but it also helps with like scarring and acne as well there's just a lot of really good benefits to using a retinol this is over the counter obviously and it is the inky list and it's so affordable and i definitely find it works uh, but again you have to like work your way up so don't just like buy this and start using it every night like work your way up and like i said if i use any of these products i literally wash my face use this you put it on a cotton pad and then i just moisturize and that's it sometimes i didn't talk about this i'll use this rose hip seed oil so i'll use this because it's just rose hip seed oil that's it so i'll use that if my skin is dry i'll moisturize after the polish choice and then 
maybe mix that with my moisturizer just a few drops but like i said i just keep it very simple and then the last product that i will talk about is um the ordinary aha bha chemical peel you only leave this on for 10 minutes and maximum 10 minutes honestly same thing i would build this up so start off by using it for like five minutes try that a few times honestly maybe three minutes just work your way up especially if you have sensitive skin so honestly i do this like once every other week because i am using this bha chemical exfoliant exfoliant as well so that has really been working for me and then after my facials i like to do a moisturizing mask i don't have one on me but i'll insert a photo it's just the neutrogena sheet mask and i really love it and i use that not like the night of my facial maybe not even the next night like two days after just to give more moisture and that is my nighttime routine hopefully it makes sense um but yeah just super basic and um uh the last thing that i'll talk about is acne treatment and i will use this different gel depending on how the pimple is like if i can feel it coming i'll just layer some of this on at night and then um this is a little hack that i discovered over quarantine and it's really been working so i know they say we shouldn't pop our pimples but mine are like huge ferocious whiteheads and i have to i cannot walk around with that on my face and honestly what i've realized regardless if i pop it or not it's gonna scar don't i'm not a dermatologist don't listen to me but what i have found that has helped if i need to pop it i put some neosporin on it and it's an antibiotic ointment so it's if you get a scrape and you're bleeding it's a healing ointment so i just if i pop a pimple and it's just like really bloody and um painful i'll put some of that on it so that it heals so i think that's it for my nighttime routine so cleanse hydrate and i do my little treatments i'll have everything listed below and yeah it's been really working for me this is very very chatty um, my morning routine is a little bit more simple so i'll probably just do that in the morning and do a voiceover so yeah enjoy see you guys in the morning okay good morning as you can see we are not having it and i'm gonna try my best and make this not super chatty because i know i've already been chatty but i'm using the same face wash that i use at night and i use the same one in the morning and then you are going to see that i just pat my face dry ladies pat the face okay no pulling we use a collagen booster just to kind of wake and plump my skin and again you're pressing into the skin you're not rubbing press and eye cream of course because look at them look at them puffs look at them cocoa puffs oh my god help her help her okay so this is coodly coddly i don't know how to say it um this is something that i used a while ago and i'm just implementing again because i really love it but it's expensive girl um 10 out of 10 recommend but again it's expensive this is their vino perfect serum and it's really good for brightening and hyperpigmentation which is why i got it and then what i used before that was like a brightening essence which kind of just preps your skin for this serum so like i said i just started implementing this but it wasn't something that i've been using but highly recommend it okay girly pops now spf so important please use spf i really love this one it gives you just this beautiful 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 glow okay thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and um yes i don't know what video i will be filming next but i'm very excited and i am just so grateful for everyone who has stuck around and is supportive and i'm just excited to take this journey with you guys so yes again please share please subscribe um let me know what you what content you guys want to see from me and let me know focus if you guys try out any of the products and they work for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.